Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. We're going to continue along with the IBMS platform how-to videos here today. In the last video, we looked at the remote configuration and the settings that are in there, touched briefly on the motion detection settings. I'm going to actually go ahead and go back into there first, just as a refresher or in case you missed that video. So what we're looking for here is the event tab and motion detection. There's so a couple things that we want to make sure of here. We want to make sure enable motion detection is checked as well as the notify surveillance center is checked. Now you'll notice all of these sort of red squares on here. That's the area in which the camera is looking for motion detection. Okay, so if it sees any motion within those squares, it's going to trigger that. Okay, I've got some options here at the side. I can delete, delete all, or go the whole area. Okay. So I'm just going to delete everything. I can click whole area. That gives me everything. Okay. Now you can see here in this image, I've got sort of a apartment building to the back with a busy parking lot. I've got a lot of trees. I'm really only worried about my backyard. So I'm going to go ahead and just select the area down here. Okay, so that can, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. That's going to detect motion only in my backyard for me, so I don't have cars going by causing my camera to record all the time. That's a busy street up there, and with the trees blowing in the wind, that sort of thing, this would essentially record constantly. If I wanted that, I don't want to miss anything, maybe something goes on with the apartment building, I want to have it on recording, I can just click to select the whole area and then hit save. Okay, so the other checkbox here, Notify Surveillance Center, you want to make sure that's checked because it's up to the camera to tell the VMS software when to record. Okay, so I'm just going to go back now to the main screen here. This is called the Control Panel in the IVMS platform. And there's a couple of options that we have here. We have Event Management and Storage Schedule. First thing I'm going to do is go into the Storage Schedule. Okay, so I'm looking at camera one, and it's set to record on event. So if I click to edit by default, so this is telling me that from 24-7, basically, I want to record on, on an event, my event being motion. Okay, so you can see that on every camera. I could change that to record 24-7 if I wanted to. I'm going to leave that on event recording and I'm going to click on OK. Now the next thing I need to do is tell it what storage server to record to. So you'll remember when we did the setup for that in the in the initial video we called it local storage. Okay, The nice thing with the IVMS platform is we have the ability to record to multiple storage servers. So if you have a very large system, you know maybe 64 cameras, you may not have room to fit all of the hard drives in that one particular machine. So you can spread that out across other systems on the network. Okay, the next thing that you need to check down here is the actual recording schedule. And we're going to go ahead and use the event template for that as well. So you do need it in both spots. Okay, so what you're doing up here is you're telling it to record 24-7. And what you're doing down here is telling it to record to the storage server 24-7. So you do have to do it in both spots on the IVMS. So once that's done, you hit save. Now, the nice thing with the IVMS and Maxia cameras is that because they're they're directly connected, you can go up here and click copy to. Okay, and I can copy my record schedule and my storage server schedule. And I can copy that to that all cameras group that I created earlier. And that's why I did that. It's nice to have that all cameras group so I can just copy everything into there all at once. Okay, I only have one camera on this particular system, so not a whole lot of need for that at this point. <coughs> okay, so once we have our storage schedule configured, I'm just going to go ahead and save the settings. We're going to take a look at the event management. What this is going to do is give us the exact same settings that we got in the remote configuration, just in a different area. Okay, it's the exact same screen. 
you can do it either way you can adjust your sensitivity all that through here the nice thing with doing it here is you have the copy too so i can get it to record everything full screen i want everything you know, i've got it enabled i'm notifying my surveillance center all that stuff copy to all my 64 other cameras and they're all set all in one shot that covers how to get the Maxia cameras recording on the IVMS platform. We've got them recording right now on motion detection. If, like I said, if you wanted it to do 24 seven, you could have changed that setting earlier. You can also do sort of a combination of them both. I'm just gonna go back in and show you that here real quick as well. Okay, so under the recording schedule, if I go edit, okay, I can make my own template. I'm just going to call that Mike's. Okay, and I can say on the weekend there's all kinds of activity in my backyard. I got kids out there, whatnot. I want to record the entire weekend 24 7. Um, you know, and maybe I've got something going, something going on at nights. I don't want to take the chance of missing anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these areas here. If you missed one, you can just go over and drag that across. Make sure you get the entire area on those. Okay, now I can go up here and go event recording. And go the rest of the way with the event recording. And again, just make sure that you drag that over so that you don't have any gaps in your recording. Okay, so now we can go ahead and click OK. Now we're recording on that. So we can have a combination of the two. Most people are just going to use 24-7 event recording, but if there's something critical going on, you don't want to take the chance of missing it. Um, you can do it this way. This is popular among schools, for example. So when recess is on, there's not much chance with, uh, you know, with 200 kids running around the yard that it's not going to record on motion anyways. But just to be safe, you know, during recess, you could set it to record all of the time. Once you've got that set the way you want, you just go ahead and set, click OK. I'm just going to put that back to the event template for now. Okay, so that takes care of the motion detection recording on the IVMS platform. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to take a look at the main view and how to configure that. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.